The barrios of Honduras and indeed all of Central America are home to vicious gangs, endemic domestic abuse and utter poverty. People scratch out a living to survive here. Many resort to crime. But the crimes are committed within these communities. And there is no escape. The gangs allowed us inside. Without their permission, it's impossible. We're being watched all the time. You just don't know by whom. Virtually every house we pass, we're told, has a story of remarkable violence. Gang murders are common. What's striking, though, is the sheer number of women being killed for being a woman. It's called femicide, and it's out of control. Right, there we go. We were taken through a house of corrugated sheets and wood, heading to meet the surviving victims of this femicide epidemic. They're really pretty much on their own now. Yorette, Rosalinda and Isaac's mother was murdered by their stepfather. Their uncle took them in and he was murdered. Relations help them as much as they can, but this little boy is the one who protects his sister and brother. All they have is this photograph of their mum. It keeps them going. What effect living through your mother's murder has on such little ones is difficult to gauge. But Yorette has a burning desire for revenge. Their mother's picture is always with them. The femicide problem, combined with the random murder of the women's children, is partly due to the crime gangs and poverty. But it's also part of a culture that categorizes women as basically disposable items. Rich or poor, it makes no difference. Women are not even second-class citizens. Liliane was beaten to a pulp by her partner. The police wanted money to help, and they wanted her sister for sex. Now she says she's tough and is a survivor, no more tears. But I asked her to tell us what it's like being a woman in Honduras. Porque yo miraba que mi mamá vivía violencia, entonces como que yo caí en ese ciclo. Las mujeres que andamos en la lucha, yo sé que en este país corremos, corremos riesgo, pero cuando nos metemos en estas luchas estamos dispuestas a darlo todo. Central America is one of the most dangerous places to be a woman on earth. A religiously conservative society offers them little protection. If these very young girls, already pregnant, can wish for anything for their babies, it's that their father protects them. Or they have a boy who at least has a chance. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Honduras.